Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In a few minutes, or at least in 60 seconds, we'll have millions of dollars worth of baseball talent right out here in front of your screen. And we have some of the greatest players, the 1954 Look All America. Each man, the best man in his position, and they will be the recipient of a Lord Elgin Watts, a souvenir for this wonderful honor. Now let's look at the 1954 Look All America baseball team. Number one, Robin Roberts of the Philadelphia Phils. Virgil Trux of the Chicago White Sox. Duke Snyder of the Brooklyn Dodgers. Yogi Berra of the New York Yankees. Kiko Carrascal of the Chicago White Sox. Alvin Dark, captain of the New York Giants. And Willie Mays of the New York Giants. Johnny Antonelli of the New York Giants. Minnie Minoso of the Chicago White Sox. Mickey Mantle of the New York Yankees. And Mickey Vernon of the Washington Senators. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the Look All America. Let's give them a real send off, a great ball. Now we'll take you. Now we take you to Cleveland, Ohio, where Jimmy Dudley. Fine broadcaster, baseball broadcaster out there is standing by with several members of the Cleveland Indians. Okay, Jimmy Dudley. Thanks, Harry Wismer, and hello, baseball fans everywhere. Here in Cleveland, we're mighty proud of our new American League champions, the Cleveland Indians, winners of 111 games this year. And naturally, some of our stars made the look All-America team, and here they are. At third base, the hard-charging, aggressive Al Rosen. Thanks, Look, and thanks, Jimmy. One of the top pitchers in the American League, winner of 23 games, Bob Lemon. Same as all. Thanks, Look, and thanks, Jimmy. And from south of the border, the pride and joy of Mexico, batting champion of the American League, Bobby Avila. Thanks, everyone. And you know the success story of a championship ball club could not be written without a championship manager. And here he is, Al Lopez. Well, thank you, Jimmy, for seeing all the ball players make up the manager. And congratulations to you and to your ball players, Al Lopez. But say, how do you compare your team with the New York Giants for the World Series? Well, Jimmy, naturally, I think we've got a better ball club than the Giants. Any ball club that can win 111 ball games in a season is bound to be a real good ball club. Well, you've certainly done a great job, but I'm wondering about your starting pitcher for the series. Who will it be? Well, Jimmy, being that it's you, I haven't told anybody yet. But being that it's you, I'm going to tell you. It's going to be either Bob Lemon, Early Wynn, Mike Garcia, or Bob Phelps. But you won't tell us which one, eh? Well, I'm just going to say it's either one of those four. And you take, think you can take the uh, Giants in the World Series, Al? I think so, Jimmy. Well, congratulations to you on a great season. To you and to your ball players, Al Lopez. And we'll see you in the World Series. The best of luck to you. And now back to Harry Wismer in New York. You know, several of the boys couldn't be here. Only four, in fact. Red Shane Dietz and Stan Musial played in St. Louis. Great ball players. Ted Williams played in Boston. And Ted Klusowski played in Cincinnati. They, too, should be honored. We wish they were here. Congratulations to them. They're all the story, incidentally, about all these boys. The inside story in the photos will be in the current issue of this look magazine. And now, folks, you know, we often wonder what a manager thinks about when he's getting ready for a World Series or a great game. One of the most colorful, one of the most interesting, one of the most exciting managers in the history of the game is with us tonight, the manager of the New York Giants National League champions, Leo DeRocher. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much, Harry. Say, Leo, just between our microphone and some 40-odd million people that are looking at you tonight, would you tell us what a manager thinks about before an exciting occasion like this? Well, Harry, uh, before a ball game, I worry. I worry after the game has started. I worry all during the game. I worry when it's over. I worry who I'm going to pitch the next day. And, and it's just worry all the time. But uh, the club, the New York Giants this year, the boys on the, on the club did a tremendous, wonderful job. And they've made me very proud of them and very happy. And I hope they've made all the fans in the country feel the same way. Well, I'm sure they have, Leo. I'm sure they have. Leo, um, 
I say, I heard you say you were worrying a little bit. When were you worrying the most this last year? Well, you worry all the time, Harry, naturally, but I worried along about August 9th when we were five games in front and then we came back to the Brooklyn Dodgers where we were only a half a game in front of them. And then we moved away again about three and a half, then came back the second time and about a game in front of them. But when we moved away for the second and last time and got in front about three and a half, I knew that this was a real fine club and that I was sure then that they could go all the way and win the pennant. What do you think of your opposition, the Cleveland Indians? Well, we've played them every spring since I've been with the Giants, since 1948. They're a wonderful ball club. They have great pitching, and uh, I'm sure that it's going to be an interesting series. I never do predict, Harry, what any club I have managed w would do, but I think that uh, we'll give a good account of ourselves. I know this is a real good ball club that I have. It certainly is, and what about this World Series? should be one of the greatest of all time. I think it, uh, it'll be a fine World Series, Harry, and, and I'd like to have all the fans throughout the country uh, meet some of the players, and they're all here this evening, and some of them I know that you'll want to talk to that have made me very proud, and I hope they've made the fans throughout the country very proud also. Let's, Let's go back and meet them. Meet the boys? Right. Okay. Here's the New York Giants, ladies and gentlemen. The National League champions, one of the most colorful teams in modern times. Well, Leo, uh, could we call some of the players down? How about Captain Dark? There he is right here, Harry. <laughs> Captain Alvin Dark, ladies and gentlemen, the great spark plug of the New York Giants infield. Congratulations, Alvin. Thank I know you, you're Harry. looking forward to this series. We certainly are. We're all looking forward to it. Well, you've done a wonderful job, and we'll be watching you all the way, so have a great time. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, Alvin Dark. And now Johnny Antonelli, ladies and gentlemen, one of the finest pitchers in the major leagues in some years. Johnny, good luck and congratulations to you. Thank you very much, Harry. Johnny, it must be great playing with a man like DeRocher and all these wonderful teammates you have here. Well, actually, it was a wonderful year, and uh, I certainly enjoy playing with them. Terrific spirit you have on the ball well, club. We really have, yes. Well, good luck in the series, Johnny. Thank you very much, Harry. Has anyone seen Willie Mays? <laughs> Hello, Willie. Willie. Willie Mays, you've done a great job. And incidentally, ladies and gentlemen, he had 345. He won the batting title today. 345, three out of four times at bat. I know you're very happy about that, Willie. Yes, I am very happy about it. I know you're sad about your teammate, Don Mueller, who came in, I believe, at 342 and had a great year, too. Well, if you had a guy three years, I think he'd have beat me out, Harry. That's right. Well, Willie, it's been a great year for you. You're a young man. You've got a great uh, career ahead, and we're all behind you, and good luck to you. Okay, thank you, Harry. Thank you, Willie Mays. Ladies and gentlemen, your New York Giants. Let's send them off with a great spirit 